Good morning, Chargers. I'm Seth Phillips, bringing you today's short morning announcements. Today during second period, your teachers should pass out a form to complete your back-to-school night schedule. Please make sure to fill it out right away, and we'll see you there. Mock Trial is having an informational meeting to kick off the season on Wednesday, August 30th at in lunch in room H30. Come to the meeting to find out what Mock Trial is and sign up for tryouts. If you miss the meeting, you can also sign up for tryouts later in H13. Are you interested in a long-term volunteer opportunity? Becoming an OG reader tutor for the Santa Barbara Public Library is a great way to receive community service hours and looks great in, app in job applications. Email ogreaders at santabarbaracalifornia.gov for more information. Seniors, the college fair is happening tomorrow during second period. Presentations will start in the cafeteria, followed by a college fair around the Greek, where you'll be able to get more information about different colleges and also pick up some college swag. There will be 32 out-of-state colleges representatives attending, attending. The representatives will stay through lunch for all grades to experience the college fair. RDP athletes are showing out. Congratulations to varsity girls volleyball athlete Hallie Reilly and varsity football athlete Danny Vidurar on winning Athletes of the Week. The awards are presented yesterday at the, at the second Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable Press Lunchroom at Harry's Cafe. Great job to our Chargers athletes. Santa Barbara's Fiesta celebration has a rich tradition in our history. DP News reporters Santiago Garza and John Hayward captured the celebration for us. Here's a closer look. I'm Santiago Garza. I'm John Hayward here with the 2023 Spirit of Fiesta, Jack Harwood. Kicking off the 99th annual Old Spanish Days Fiesta. Old Spanish Day's first event is the Fiesta Pequeña, which includes performances from local dance groups. The climaxes of the night were the performances by Fiesta Spirit Jack Harwood and Junior Spirit Olivia Nelson. We got an opportunity to interview both of them after their performances. My two friends that were past Junior Spirits, once I saw them, it like encouraged me to want to try and make it to this point. What well, made you choose your performance this night? Well, my dance instructor, Daniela Zermango, we would sit in the studio and we would look for different musics and once I heard this one, we played it twice and I just knew it was the one. How does it feel to be the 2023 Spirit of Fiesta? It's amazing. This is something I've dreamed of for, you know, ever since I saw Flamenco. I, I remember I went to the Spirit Auditions in April back when I was like five years old. I saw I, I saw a man trying out and it was, it was totally new to me because I'd always thought it would just be a woman. A lot of stereotypes around male dancers, but it's something to, to embrace. And if it's something that you really truly love, then there shouldn't be anything that comes in the way of that. So it was always something that I tried to do and on my third year of trying out, I um, finally made it. Every year, Fiesta Pequeña is an event that unites both the local and international communities, showcasing what makes each of them unique in front of the iconic backdrop of Old Mission Santa Barbara. Reporting for DP News, it's been John Hayward and Santiago Garza. Our Charger athletes showed out on Thursday night at the girls' varsity volleyball matchup against San Marcos. DP News reporters Lucas Ginder and Seth Tedeschi show us in-depth look of how the game went. Hey DP, I'm Stephanie Carranza with DP News today. We're here at the SoFi Gym where our Dos Pelos Chargers are taking on the San Marcos Royals for their first league game. After being down 2-1, our Chargers rallied and won the game 3-2. Halley really led the game with 31 assists, 12 kills, 8 digs, and 3 aces. Obviously, and we just want to always come off the court feeling like we did our best. All right, thank you. 